What up, what up? It's your boy Rossi Bell Boy, aka Honey Round Rico, or Honey Round Ricardo, whatever you want to call me. We're here at another episode of Lunch and the Interview. I'm your host. This is my interviewer, but interviewee, High C. You know what I'm saying? Legend in Nashville. First of all, I want to say thank you for coming, homie. You already know what it is. Family. Family all day right here. You know what I'm saying? First off, you know what I'm saying? I just kind of want to get into your story, your background, how things started in Nashville, you know what I'm saying? As far as the, the music industry. Well, man, I've been doing this rap shit for a long time. Yeah. I'm talking about I know the street spot in the Rebel. From Wicked East, they think of pretty much think of what I probably done started from there. Mm-hmm. I've been rapping since goddamn when I was living on South Fake. I was like about 12, 13 years old. Yeah. Uh, we had a group we started called CIX. CIX. Me, Look Deal, B Nut, Slick, <laughs> Eric Ballard. Shout out to all my homies, though, man. They're my family right there. Yeah, yeah, family right there, too. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, we came with the CIX and whatnot. And uh, actually, my name, how she came from, uh, I'm going to tell you who helped me came up with my, come up with my name. Who that? The Dale. The Dale. The Dale. Free Dale, man. Yeah. yeah he came with <laughs> my boy, man. He came up with how she, man. Yeah. And whatnot, you know what I mean? Uh, so we, uh. Started out, you know what I mean, just you know some hood shit or whatnot, just you know prize and shit, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. We get over beat and we'll go beat nut house and you know we'll just get all get together and we just have some music on, we just be writing this shit or whatever. Right, beat nut, that's my guy too. Yeah, Not yeah, to catch yeah, y'all. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we were doing a little something, you know what I mean, and whatnot. And I had an uncle, I got an uncle. Shout out to T Mac. Uh, he linked me up with one of these Memphis cats. Okay. And uh, we did some show. We supposed to went out there and do a show, and we gave the dude some money. Uh-huh. And he, and then by the time we supposed to, you know, set up and do our show, we actually went down there and met the niggas and everything. But we tried to do a show, man. Dude ran off with the money, man. Damn. Right? And whatnot. So they kind of like <laughs> threw a little loop with my uncle shit and whatnot. I couldn't fuck with my uncle and whatnot because he was more like a. My uncle was more like a. I ain't quit fucking with him as far as I'm quit fucking with him as far as I'm Yeah, I feel you. But my uncle was more like a, he's more like a film producer. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? When I do videos, when I do movies and shit. Yeah. And when I wish, I'm sure he didn't know that, you know what I mean, they was on yeah. with they was yeah, on. Yeah, gonna run My uncle, you know, a good guy. His tension was good. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And whatnot. And, uh, again, I ended up getting in some little trouble and shit in the project and whatnot. And then I, my mama ended up moving me. I ended up living in my granny house. Uh-huh. And uh, when I when I ended up living with my granny, you know what I mean, just just, just by me being a, a, a boss type dude and a leader type dude, yeah. I can create anything everywhere I go, anywhere I go. Right. So I was in Hines Manor. I was in Hines Manor. My partner, Onion, Lil Victor, Kevin, and my cousin PD3. Okay. Kevin. Okay. We had a group called True Thugs. And my little cousin Juanisa. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> we had a group True Thugs though one night. And we was uh you know we were talking though. Uh-huh. We were pumping out we was fucking with my boy Shotty from uh from Dale Way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard Shotty. Yeah, yeah, Shotty, yeah, 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 yeah whatnot. And uh we was moving, doing shows, you know what I mean, recording a couple songs and everything and whatnot, but I think I was probably uh, I was a little more serious than everybody. Mm-hmm. I think everybody liked rapping uh-huh. and, and got a thrill out of, you know, performing and all this. But right. the energy I had and the ambition I had with the music, I, it, was, it was just, you know, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like that sometimes. You don't have one more which more serious than exactly. everybody else. Yeah. So uh, I was going to Hunter's Lane. I remember I was going to Hunter's Lane. And, uh, I was sitting like, again, I was hustling. You know what I mean? I was selling weed. I had the weed. I was the weed man. Uh-huh. And I'm uh-huh. like, I ended up getting caught. I got caught. They sent me to alternative school. Uh-huh. I know all about them. <laughs> they sent me to alternative school. <laughs> and that's when I met CP the baby dog. Okay, okay, CP. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the back of the classroom. I had my phone out. I thought we be doing some work. Mm-hmm. I'm right. <laughs> See in the back of the class, he done got shot in his leg mm. or whatnot. And, uh, See bullet hole feet. See bullet hole feet. <laughs> and my guy. Right. My guy right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, he, was, he had some folders and shit with a lot of raps and shit. He was like, man, spit some shit. So I spit some shit to him. Yeah. 
Yeah. I said, nigga, you spit some shit. Yeah. He spit some shit. He's like, man, you hard. Yeah. I'm like, you hard too, though. Yeah. So we kind of linked up. We kind of went, like, the bomb was, the bomb was just like, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So I had like this little cassette tape. I had two songs on it. I had a song called Get Em Up, and I had a song called Pimp Shit. Uh-huh. I let C use my tape. I mean, listen to the tape. Yeah. He was like, you know, it was like, I think it was like on a Wednesday. Next Thursday, I mean, the, the next day, I was like, you bring the tape. He's like, nah, I forgot it in the house or whatnot. I'm like, ah, that's cool, baby. Yeah. Yeah, but that boy bump, I've been bumping it, though. Yeah, so yeah. So Friday hit. I said, but you bring the tape. He's like, nah, I ain't even bring it. I forgot. Damn, I forgot. <laughs> so I'm like, nah, you good, you good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you listened to uh-huh. me. I like it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So Monday hit. He was like, man, I'll be honest with you, man. Man, I let my cousin listen to it, my big cousin. Shout out to KP too, though, man. All right. He said, man, I'm going to let my big cousin, I let my big cousin listen to it, and he want to meet you. Uh-huh. He said, man, he wants you to come out to the house or whatnot. Uh, and, uh, you know what I mean? But if I can introduce you to him or whatnot, I think he want to do some shit with us. Yeah. So I came out there. I think I was like 15 years old, 15, 16 years old. So when I came out there, it was Dante Jones out there. Mm-hmm. And it was KD. Uh-huh. Or whatnot, and it was KP, you know what I mean? So I came, me and C came out there, and I introduced them who I was, or whatever. They kind of pretty much, I already kind of knew who I was because they knew my uh, my cousin, the past, Doug P, rest in peace, okay. my cousin. Okay. Uh, KP kind of, he already knew him, so he kind of knew who I was right. through him. Right. So, you know, we everybody locked in, you know, my spit, my shit, you know, I got my little shit off, whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. They were like, ah, oh, yeah, 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 you, I fuck with you, you certified, yeah, yeah, you going hard, you right. got the energy, you know uh-huh. what I mean? So, at that point, you know what I mean, he, he was like, you know, I want you and my little cousin, CP, I want y'all to link up and got them move some mouth, you know right. what I mean? I think y'all got some energy, I think the streets want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... We end up locking in. I'm talking about every day, every day, every day. You know what I mean? And my, my auntie, my auntie Nita, she had a uh, she had a uh, a duplex in Inglewood. Mm-hmm. That was a spot. You know what I mean? That's where we sold our weed at, sold our bags in, we yeah. had dogs there. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. It was just a spot. Right, right. You know what I mean? So she started coming over. Mm-hmm. He started coming over every day after after school. Uh-huh. He had a beat machine and a microphone. Oh yeah. So you know we blown. You know what I mean. I kept it gas. We blown. I don't think we just blown, 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 blown. And we end up coming with a ride together. Mm-hmm. We wrote that ride together song. Off a half a blunt. <laughs> that song ride together was wrote off a half a blunt. Oh yeah. 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 No yeah. bullshit. But how we came, the chemistry, how we came with the song, mm-hmm. about with the song. Mm-hmm. It was more like it was natural. Right. It seemed natural. That song it seemed was natural. like it. We wanted, yeah. We were just like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Go look up, nigga. You know, roll man. Yeah. Know, smoke up nothing. Pop your pill. All right, right. We, we was more like in the end. It just. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I say by six months later, the Wicked East compilation came out. And that was one of the biggest compilations in Nashville. Right. Sure and was. The first song recorded on that was Rad Together. Rad Together. Yeah. Yeah, like I was telling you, man, first time I heard of that song, a girl that I knew was right walking around the hood singing that mother. Yeah. I'm like, damn, what you saying? She just kept saying, we're going to ride together, yeah. we're going to die together, nigga, it's whatever. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm like, what is yeah. that? Because that was catchy. I'm like, damn, what, what you saying? You know what I'm saying? She's like, oh, that's that uh, East Wicked. You know what I'm saying? Wicked East, whatever. So I'm like, oh, for real? What, what, what is that on? Like, I'm thinking that's something out of town yeah. still. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She like, nah, that's the uh, I see them, they with Dante them. I'm like, oh, for real? Oh, I gotta check them out when I heard it. I'm like, oh, I see why she's saying that. No. That mother will catch his head, you know what I'm saying? First time you hear, you gonna say, who is that? You know right. what I'm saying? Real right. talk. Real talk. And we, yeah, yeah. And that right there, that was the energy right there. Like, I think we knew, like, you gotta think about it. You got, you got Boogie, he had the energy he had. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got Quanty, you got Quanty Cash, you know, talking about getting money mm-hmm. and balling. Mm-hmm. You got Pilsen talking about balling, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Having a, you know what I mean? We was a young cat out of all them. We was on some rides together, gangsta right, shit. Right, you know right, I mean? right, 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 right. Y'all, y'all rolled together that. good too, you know like the ball in MJG or yeah. UGK type thing. Yeah. Like y'all yeah. fed off each yeah. other, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Real talk. Yeah. 
So we had a nice little run with that, man. We ended up, uh, you know, Cash Money was coming down here fucking with us. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Young Buck was fucking with us. You know, at that time, because, you know, if you was high, I mean, if you was somebody and mm-hmm. you was rapping, at Nashville, you you would have been a damn fool. Yeah. You know, right, right, you know right, I mean? right, yeah, right. Everybody. right, right. Right. So, that end up, that end up, I think, I, I think it's, that mixtape end up, it was a compilation. Yeah. So I almost a quarter of it. Damn. Copies. Yeah, that's cool, bro. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. I know it got out there, but it I didn't know big. it like that. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't just in Nashville. Yeah, yeah. Big. Hey, is that the one that had Juvie on there too, right? Yes, the Juvie had Juve on, on there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why like Juve was on there, Buck was on there. Right, right, uh, right. It was looking at everybody. Pistol was on uh-huh, there. Uh-huh. PJN was on there. Yep, yep, PJN. Damn, yeah, I ain't hearing yeah. them in them days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PJN. That was a hard ass compilation. I remember that motherfucker. She did. So how did how did um was the time with you and Buck? Was that was that like, you know what I'm saying, some cool cool stuff right there? Let me see, I was, I started fucking with Buck what? 2000, 2004, I think it was 2004, 2008. Mm-hmm. I was fucking with him, like it was before, this, this was before when he was fucking with G-Unit. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Was still with 50. Uh-huh. It was cool. He showed me. He put me, up, he put me in position around some people. Yeah. And whatnot. But, you know, I was moving out dope money. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was, it was the hard, the hard thing about when I was fucking with him is like, you know, you know, moving out drug money and then you ain't, you ain't in the street. You ain't, you know, in the city. You know what I mean? Because when I was rocking with him, he was always out of town. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So, you know, I rock with them as much as I can, you know, because at the end of the day, you know what I mean, I got a home team, I got a family, right. I got a squad. Right. I had to come back, you know, I'm trying to bring a bag back to, to the fam. Yeah. So, you know, I stayed and pushed my line, you know what I mean, I pushed my line, pushed my line, you know what I mean, did a deal. They were saying something about a deal was popping up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, so I'm like, you know, I told the homies, I'm like, okay, yeah, they talking about they got a good deal in there or whatever. We'll see what they going, what they talking about. Well, you know. The situation didn't really go as planned or whatnot, you know what I mean? Uh, like I said, the numbers weren't right. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, the word, the motherfuckers' word wasn't, wasn't what it was, you know what I mean? Yeah. But the motherfucker, like I said, if I don't take nothing back, what a motherfucker put in my face and gave me an opportunity for. Right, you know right, 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 right. Don't take right. none of that back. Right, but right. Take good with the bag. By me being, by me was actually in the streets mm-hmm. with the bag. Mm-hmm. I'm feeding motherfuckers. You know right. what I mean? my, my, my position as a young nigga, I was feeding motherfuckers my mama age. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Take yeah. care of motherfuckers. So I already had that boss mentality uh-huh. how to put niggas in position. Right. So when I was with him, I realized, you know, I want, you know, that he, I ain't got nothing against him or whatever. Right, right. It wasn't the right nigga for me to fuck with, you yeah. know what I mean? When it comes to being this man, you know what I mean? Because, you know what I mean? I want to fuck with a nigga who put niggas in, who, who, who can open up a lane and put it, you know what I mean? And put it on a nigga table and let gotcha. a nigga eat, chop it up, you know what I mean? Yeah, gotcha. I, I know exactly so what you're saying. It, 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 I didn't see it with him. Mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I put in, I put in blood, sweat, and tears. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was on Flavor Love. Oh, yeah, I was gonna ask you about that too. <laughs> Showtime at Apollo. Yeah. You know what I mean? The uh, little scrappy video. Okay. Okay. Uh, get buck the money in the bank. Mm-hmm. I yeah. was on. You know what I mean? I, we, okay. We kind of we got some we got some uh, some worldwide exposure. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can say that, but far as on the money part, you know. I mean, I guess because he probably had his situation with Phil. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. Which yeah. I ain't really give a fuck about none of that shit. You know what I mean? None of that shit ain't my business. Yeah, I'm worried yeah. about my bankroll and my position and my opportunity. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That's the only thing I was worried about. So when I seen my shit wasn't getting no light on it, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of backed up out of from Right, you know right, I mean? right, right, right. Up you got to do what you got to do. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because like I say, man, it was a situation. A situation, you know what I mean? My niggas, my niggas, you know what I mean? My niggas was... We could eat. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> everybody locked in my East tuned in what I got going on. So, yeah. you know, a lot of my people felt a certain type of way because they seen the effort and the energy that I put with the G-Unit side. We all you know seen I, mean? I was the one who, 
was part of the Geo the South when it switched to six one five. Exactly, we you know always I mean? seen like, that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 that part. Yeah, so, yeah, but, right, right. You that no all facts right there. But, you know, <laughs> my thing is, you know, everything happened for a reason. Yep. You know, everything is time and on how it's time. Whatever, but, how, uh, how did that Flavor of Love thing come about? Really, that was for G Unit. Okay. That was for Lord Banks, mm -hmm. Young Buck, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But when we went, we was the the guest appearance, mm -hmm. Yin Yang Twin. Okay. And Triple Six Mark. Okay. Right. So that was one of our, that was part of our introduction to to the uh the worldwide, you know what I mean, too. Yeah. You know, for people to see, okay, that's that's six one five this buck, you know, uh -huh. they see what it was for people. Yeah. Uh-huh. Or whatnot. But like I said, it was it was something new to me too though, cause the whole time while we up in LA, you know what I mean? My phone ringing, you know what yeah. I mean? I mean, my phone ringing like real top. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah. Like, I'm like, man, I can't. I'm trying to juggle with the streets. Uh -huh. I'm up here with the celebrity shit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, this ain't, you know, I'm, then I, this ain't, you know what I mean? This ain't. I, right. I feel. I can't let this go. So, uh -huh. you know what I mean? so, <laughs> It was, it was, it was, it was, it was cool, man. It was cool. Like I say, man, trying to juggle being a street nigga and just pretend like you're a sign artist. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It didn't mm -hmm. fit well with me. You I, know feel, I, I couldn't, feel. I couldn't pretend, but what I can do, I, I can fall off my bread and make it look good for the squad. Right. You right. know what I mean? That's what I did. I had my own cars. Yeah. You know what I mean? I had my own jewelry, I had my own bread, I had my own team, I had yeah. my own move, yeah. I had my own name. Yeah. So, but, you know. It just didn't. It just didn't. It just didn't work in my operation. So I just had to back up out of it. Right, right. Well, what, what's that about? Cause my homie Big Dave, I had to go to the text. And Big Dave, I asked him. You know what I'm saying? What's some of the stuff I could ask you about? He was like, Ask him about the OG Killer. <laughs> well, OG Killer. Yeah. OG Killer came from came from my east. Okay. I can That's me. Okay. You know what I mean? That's me. I'm OG Killer out east. Okay. Like from back in the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. The late 90s, the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. I'm 20 years in it with this name. I got a tatter on my hand. Okay. It's just the work I don't put in. Mm -hmm. I eat. You know right. what I mean? Right. 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 So, but I had I had a run in with a, a, a blood. Name OG Kill. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Which, you know, he came to me and asked me, like, man, you know, man, we got the same name, man. We can't be just, you know what I mean? Because he, he said, I got, a, I got a lot of shit going on. Right. And I don't right. want my name right. to match it up with your name. Right, right, Which right. Which right. came to me like, yeah, you know what I mean? That's real. You know, I, I, at the time, I kind of felt a certain type of weight, you know what I mean? I'm like, hold on, you know what I mean? Like, what, what you trying to say? Like, right. Hey, nigga ain't gonna change. Like, exactly, I'm exactly. Like, I got scars in this shit. This is wicked shit, nigga. Right, what, what you trying to tell me? Change no my name? name shit, yeah, right, 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 right. Right. You know what I mean? Because it's. That was it, man. He, he was. He, he is always a killer in his life. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I ain't got nothing to do with it. You don't it. want his ties either. Nah, I don't want his ties either. But <laughs> my thing is, I was at ease. Mm -hmm. You know, so he was kind of make, make, he was making, he was pretty much coming to me like, we can't really, I, I don't want my shit to cross up with your shit as far as on the beat. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And he, he wasn't trying to come at me. This was yeah, nah, me. I feel that all the way. That's why I'm saying you don't want his, his uh, but beat, yeah, but that's his what, name. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want the heat off. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah he's looking, looking for you off something on. he done done. Exactly. So, <laughs> but yeah. that's, all, that's all it was, though, or whatnot. You know what I mean? My name came from there. You know what I mean? Like I say, when I was like 18, 19 years old, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people out east. Yeah. You should just call me OG Killer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, OG Killer, Killer, Killer. Yeah, this I saw was, that on your status the other this, day. This 20 years back on, you know what I mean, back then. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. But whatnot, so that's what my shit came One of the homies from the hood, they commented on your status. They said, yeah, OG, OG Killer. Killer. Yeah. Right after Big Dave told me to ask you about yeah. that, I seen that. So I'm yeah. like, okay, that's yeah. a question yeah. I'm going to hit him yeah. up with. See, I didn't and know what it was that about. That was me. That's me out east. Okay, okay. And about out east, like, you got to be a real east side Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about I ain't the one who moved out there. I'm yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. How she is over Right, all right. So now, like a lot of people might not know, you are originally from South A, right? What was that like growing up in, in, in the town? Like I said, uh, that's how that's how I mean, that's how the CIA came about. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to CIX too, man. I fuck with CIX tough, man. It's neighborhood shit, man. 
we all incorporate, we all family, man. Yeah. Do it yourself, CIX, ODC, Six Dudes, we all South A Mafia, man. Yeah, and then fucking with CIX, that's why I understood how to unite like brotherly. You know what I mean? And I forgot my boy James Coleman, too, though. Yeah. My bad. Love you, nigga. Yeah, I can't leave PYG out, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, you know, fucking with them. I, I, I got the unity, how to you know, unite it, you know what I mean? Because it was like by four, five, six of them, you know what I mean? Yeah, or yeah, not yeah, moving, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, or yeah. whatnot, but you know what I mean? That's why I would take my head out to come back. Yeah, know? yeah. Or whatnot, but before I was on the stand over there, it was cool. Yeah. I mean, same old hood shit, you know what I mean? You running with your own boys, you know what I mean? Rest in peace, Red, Flame, you know what I mean? And my right. boy John Whitehead, too. Right, you know? right, man, you know I remember these, that night, dude. These was my guys, you know what I mean? Like, like, when I was running, when I was a young nigga running, stealing bikes, and you know, twelve years old, start setting pills and everything, mm. I was with Red. Okay, okay. It was me and him. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. And whatnot, and uh, my homeboy John Whitehead, it was it was around my birthday when he got killed mm -hmm. or whatnot, and uh, we was dressed a lot. Oh yeah. And we was hanging outside, you know. My mama told us to come on in the house. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I ended up going in the house. Yeah, yeah. He, I walked him to his house, which mm -hmm. I thought he was going in the house. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, he doubled back around yeah. and, and went back out there, yeah. on, 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 right there to cut with the home with the with the big dogs. Yeah. and got them end up getting killed, man. Man, you know it's a man? short story, man. What's up, dog? We good? Yeah, straight. Yeah, I'm drunk. Yeah, I'm good. Short story, man. That night, man, shout out to John Whitehead, man. I actually really didn't know him that well, but we all from the same area. And I just remember that night because I was so young, me and my friends was hanging outside at that time too. We was on the right North up. Street, down the street, yeah. right down the street, on the North. And when we saw all the ambulances and shit up the hill, and we heard what happened, man, that was like a, a life altering night for me because at that time I really didn't know death. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I really didn't know nobody that had passed like that that I knew.